Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Wet News Wednesday. I'm Catlin. Let's get into the news. I'm going to start you off this week with the good news, mostly because there isn't very much of it, but this is great news. The World Health Organization, or the WHO, not the British rock band, but, you know, these guys are cool, too. Maybe less musically inclined, but also doing the good things. So, the World Health Organization has revealed that there may or may not there is a vaccine for Ebola, which they are calling very effective. And that is great news because you know what else is very effective? Ebola. Amidst some scandals that have rocked the Planned Parenthood organization of late, Congress took it back retro style, not in a good way, and they voted today to, uh, you know, decide whether or not they should cut funding from one of the only major organizations that puts women's health first. Thankfully, it didn't go through, but you know what? Everybody's favorite, not reality star, had something really intelligent, definitely not, to say about it. That's right, Donald Trump put in his two cents, and by two cents I mean, oh, you know, a bajillion dollars, um, and said that he would shut down the government over Planned Parenthood. Um, is your showrunner also running your campaign? Because this feels like some prime time drama twists. You don't shut down the government over something like that, Trumpy. Fox News announced today everybody who will be headlining the GOP first presidential debate coming up into our Oh, God, it's really time for debates again. Duckies, I can't handle it. It's like hearing Christmas music in August, only so much worse. Jon Stewart is leaving. How the hell are we supposed to make it through a freaking presidential election without Jon Stewart? <laughs> And with Donald Trump, I mean, there is a pharmaceutical company behind this. You listen here, America. If you start seeing lots of commercials for anti-anxiety medication laced in, in between political coverage, you heard it here first. It's all a plot. Finally, mostly because I don't have enough whiskey to keep talking about politics for much longer, we're moving into entertainment news. Lenny Kravitz learned a very important lesson today at a concert. There is one thing more uncomfortable than wearing underwear whilst wearing leather pants, and that is in fact having your leather pants split and having your penis broadcast to the entire internet. If you lost that last word, that was penis on the internet. Not porn, it's on BuzzFeed. Alrighty viewers, we've got a question for you this week. The Donald is running for president. If there was any previous president of the United States, who would you put the in front of? The FDR? The Babraham Lincoln? Yes, I said Babraham. That was intentional. That does it for us this week on Wet News Wednesday. Always remember, if you can't make good decisions, make safe ones. And we'll see you right back here next week. Bye-bye. Duckies, say goodbye.